Hey everybody. So I'm going to switch off from the individual colored resin trays that are Easter inspired and I'm going to do a rainbow colored one and do it just a little bit differently this time. So I'm going to try to mix up 32 ounces. So that would be 3 ounces for each coaster and 26 for the the silicone mold that is a 13 inch tray. We're going to use Artist Resin, Medium Viscosity, Equal Parts, A and B. Got my timer set for six minutes. I'm going to hit start. Okay, six minutes is up. Now we're going to switch to stopwatch and hit start. And we're going to start a timer and keep an eye on our time because that's really important with this process. I'm going to put this aside for a few minutes. This is a 13 inch silicone mold from Amazon. All the links will be below my video for everything I use. I typically use this 32 ounce mixing container and um, the resin's not quite cured in it so I'm not be able to use it this time. That's why I'm using this paint mixing container. These are from Amazon. They're kind of thick and they're almost five inches and they hold over four ounces, almost five ounces. But I'm only gonna put about three ounces in here and that leaves them still a good quarter to half inch, maybe half quarter inch or so. And then I do a top coat on it and the tray when we're finished. This mold holds a minimum of 32 ounces and I'll only be putting about 24 to 26 ounces in. And that's plenty too. That will make it at least a quarter to a half an inch thick with by the time I put the top coat on. So that's what we're doing today and I'm going to use uh, for the white that's going to go in this cup I'm going to use Armor Art Epoxy Pigment White Paste Pinata Alcohol Ink and Sparkle White which is a big mica flake that's super sparkly and you can add it to any color uh, with alcohol inks or pigments or whatever and it gives it sparkle but it doesn't make it pastel like a white typically does. I'm not going to put this in any of my colors. I'm just going to put it in my white mixture and so when I put the white mixture into my tray it's going to have that sparkle white effect. It'll have that sparkle through all the colors in the piece. So we're just using it in the white today. And then I've got alcohol links uh, by Pinata. I've got pink which doesn't come in the nine piece set. I had to, you have to order it separately. Uh, Sunlight Yellow and then these are Bray Reese, Kelly Green, Lake Blue and I may or may not use Lavender or this is another cheaper brand and it's uh, Deep Violet but it's these aren't as strong as the Pinata inks are. They're a little bit less strong so I'm not sure which one I'm going to use but I want the colors pretty vivid because I'm going to have this white sparkle effect going through it. A lot of times on these kind of um, pieces I'll put something in the middle you know either gold leaf, silver leaf, glass beads. Sometimes I'll use shells around the edge um, and so I usually put something in the middle of the coasters as well. Today I'm going to skip that and it's just going to be all about the colors and the white being in it and that sparkle effect and the design that we come up with and I'm hoping that it will be a success. Keeping my fingers crossed you never know on any given day what it's going to end up like. Um, I am going to go ahead and pour this is a five ounce cup. It's probably about two and a half to three ounces. I'll go ahead and pour these molds about halfway full. And usually I've been waiting um, till about 15 or 20 minutes before I really do much of anything but I'm going to switch it today and we're going to try it the other way and we're just going to go ahead and mix our white up put the resin into the mold, put our inks on top, and then wait on the white to be a certain warm uh, consistency. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, epoxy pigment. This is a cured stick that has some resin on it, but I'm going to dip my stick in 
and leave just a little mound on the bottom end of it. And scrape your stick against the cup to get that pigment off of the end of your stick. Or at the top here you can kind of scrape it a little bit. I'm going to take my spoon, which is about the size of my pointer finger, and I'm going to put in a really healthy spoonful. I'm going to mix that in, and, and that mica will fly everywhere. That's why I've got the, uh, the paper towel over my mold. Mix that in and see how sparkly that is. That's pretty sparkly. Now the alcohol ink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I want a bunch of alcohol ink. Again, keep working on that white at the end of your stick just to make sure you got it all off and mixed in. So we're going to put that aside and let it start warming. We're only at seven minutes, so we've got quite a ways to go. I like to work with medium viscosity. Um, just the consistency and the timing is very easy for me to kind of stay on top of. I've not had as much luck with thinner resin or thicker resin as far as getting pretty effects in it. So I always stick with this medium viscosity. I use a heat gun, but I do not I try to stay away from the edges of the mold. It, it will uh, keep your mold from getting damaged. And if, when you're using alcohol inks, I like to torch it before using alcohol inks too. You can also put this in a piping bag, but I'm just going to pour it straight out of the cup because you can make a little spout and pour it out of here and do a pretty good job. We're going to put it in, in a pretty healthy stream. Uh, if you want more of a fine, thinner line, like for smaller pieces like coasters or whatever, you would maybe want to use a piping bag, you can still use it out of the cup. It's just you have a little less control out of the cup than you do piping bags. Okay, it's at 14 minutes. Torch it first and now we're going to add the inks and I'm going to start with the pink. And you could use magenta if you don't have pink. Magenta will be a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go right here and do yellow. And then the Kelly Green, and I don't want a ton of green, and sometimes it kind of takes over. I'm going to go back and forth in between. I think this is um, not too strong, so I think, I think this will work. This is a Lake Blue. I have Sky Blue, which is softer. But I think I want the, the deeper. But I'm not going to put it as close together. I'm going to give it a chance to kind of spread out. And the middle, I guess because the blue is vivid, I'm going to go ahead and use the deep violet. Do four drops. See how that looks. Okay, I think I want to come right here, kind of between the pink and the yellow, and do another line of pink. And if it goes into the yellow and makes an orangish color, that is fine too. A coaster is going to have a different effect than the tray because it's a smaller piece. Keep that in mind with your inks, the vividness and uh, so forth. I 
it moves inwards so that's why you've got oh, the purple boom hope that's okay oh well I'm just gonna dip my finger in get some of that purple out because we don't want it to like be so powerful now I'm thinking I want to put magenta I have magenta mixed with a little bit of white. I'm not putting a lot in the coaster either because of the reason that it, you know, gets too much pigment in there. I'm going to put one more drop of purple right here in the middle. We're at 20 minutes. This does not Feel, it's starting to warm, but it doesn't feel warm enough yet, so we're going to keep on waiting on it. Try to get this purple spread out a little bit. I think I'm going to Typically when you put alcohol inks in, down you don't want to put a torch to it because it may flame up but once you've kind of mixed it into your resin then you can use a torch. Don't put it too close to your surface. I have a digital thermometer but um, I've got some resin on it and it won't open up so I'm just going to have to do this based on the timing that I feel is right. Right now it's at 26 minutes. I want to let it, I think, thicken up just a hair more before I use it. Okay, we're at 29 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. stick each time. So we're going to give it about uh, four to five hours. I try to make sure the white is not touching the mold side of the mold so that it has a chance to kind of move in. So if you see me separating things from the edge of the mold, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to let it be and we'll be back in four or five hours. 
Okay, it's been five hours. Interesting. Pretty. Different from anything I've done. So I'm going to use gold knobs and do a flood coat. So I'll be back after I've mixed up the facet. Okay, I have mixed up about four, four and a half ounces of facet resin, equal parts A and B. B first, then A. This is the fast set from Counterculture DIY Blue Label, not the Turbo. You don't want Turbo, it's too fast and you will regret it. Um, this has about a 10 minute or so working time, but really 10 minutes is where you want to aim to be. And it cures within an hour or two. So that's why I love it. I'm going to put a little dollop right in the middle of the coaster here. And I'm, I am not putting anything under the coasters. We're not going over the edges. We're just putting the surface level on. So this takes less than half an ounce or so for each coaster. I'm going to use a silicone brush and what I do, make sure your glove is clean, doesn't have anything on it, you don't want to mess up your coaster on the underside and you just take it and you bring it out to the edge and you kind of do a sweeping motion and with this jagged uh, geode kind of shape that goes in and out, this works really well and you want to do it kind of as quickly, you cannot take your time, you got to do this as quickly as you can. I do the coasters first just because I can knock them out in, you know, a few 30 seconds or something, but um, you want to give yourself enough time to especially do your big piece. But I've done this enough times to where I, I know my timing. Uh, You're also pulling out for that, from that center puddle and because it's thicker it, it's, and you don't have a ton of resin on here, it, it's really just the perfect uh, amount if you just put that little dollop of about two inches of a puddle. That will cover generally any coaster. And then I'm going to take the rest, pour it out. I'll leave a little bit in my cup. I like to usually put this on a, um, a turntable and I don't have it on one right now. But I do have it on a piece of parchment paper so it does, you know, kind of move around. But it's so much easier when you put it on something you can turn. It makes your life much easier as far as being able to see all your edges and so forth. But you take it from the middle and work it your way out. And then you just take it up to those edges. Again in a sweeping motion and quickly. Because once this starts to um, do its thing, it really gets tacky and you cannot move it once it has decided it's going to uh, kind of halt on you. So work quickly. 10 minutes for all of it. And usually too when you're doing this, um, when you have your resin in a mold and you unmold it, when you flip it over, and this would be what was face down in the mold, it's not going to be super, super shiny. 
and ha unless you have a really really shiny mold on the inside so this is also why I plug coat it it just gives it that final glassy look but it also is an easy way to set your knobs and then you don't have to go uh, drilling holes in your resin to screw knobs in and have screws on the other side and all that so this is uh, definitely why I also use this facet is just to uh, get those knobs set to in the resin to where they're permanently attached so here's our final little side of the whole thing and I've got some resin left so I'm going to add some here add a little bit more in the middle again we make sure our, our gloves are clean and then we're going to take our knobs and place them right across from each other and then press and wiggle and kind of wiggle back and forth and when you can tell that it doesn't have much wiggle room then you know that it's, you've got a pretty good bond but you keep wiggling it until you um, feel like you've got a nice tight bond so I'm just doing this one first And I like to take a little resin that's still left in the cup and be careful not to touch your crystal knob with it. But I like to go around it and kind of build up. And it will still self-level, so don't worry about it being a mound. And you've got to do this within that 10 minute working time because otherwise it will um, it'll be thickening up and it'll kind of turn to plastic and be lumpy on you uh, really quickly. And around the knobs I turn the, the uh, turn it down on low and just do short burst All right, we'll be back in an hour or two.